All right, I'm gonna try to cross the river right now. Oh, but I'm gonna be careful. <laughs> For some reason, I thought it was a good idea to, uh, oh, cross the river. And now I gotta, if I can make my way up to the island, I think I'll be pretty good, but uh, this current is kind of strong. Ah, and nature is as beautiful as it is dangerous. Never underestimate her, guys. Ugh. Woo, made it. All right. Usually the water is too high for me to make that move, but uh, it actually seems a little bit low today. So now I get to explore new parts of this fishing spot. And someone left a nice log for me to travel on. Perfect. All right, up river we go. Whoa, guys, I think, I think John B might have left his smallie spotters here. Check it. <laughs> I'm finding some cool stuff. You guys should call me, I'm switching my channel name to D Almighty. Oh, there's a fish. There we go. Little dude. Ah, oh, no, it's actually pretty good. Oh, beautiful jump. So right now I'm just covering water and making my way upstream. I don't see anything that looks particularly good, so I'm throwing the crankbait. And, oh man, beautiful fish right here. Actually better, probably about a 12 incher. Another mean skinny one. All right, hooks out, buddy. Ready to let, oh, he's biting me. I'm gonna let you go, okay? Go ahead, you can go. Let go of my finger. Oh, all right, said goodbye. Getting real deep, guys. Uh, let me go a little bit this way. Huh. Ooh, that was a close call. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. Oh, my gosh. This log just fell out from beneath me. Oh, man. I'm stuck. I put my rod down. Don't drop in the water, please. I'm a little stuck, guys. I can do this. Oh, man. That log literally... This giant log split in two because it's decaying. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. We got this. Ah, oh, there we go. All right. Back in business. Oh, saw that one. Take it. He followed it in. This crankbait's producing some better sized smallies. Man. Beautiful fish. I saw, I was grinding to get along the bottom. I saw this fish come up from behind it and just smack it. I right, just land this dude. Got him with both sets of trebles. All right, don't move. I'm going to lip you. Please don't move. Gotcha. Ow, he's biting me. Man, these guys are mean. And he's been caught before too. Look at that. He's caught right on the side. That's the uh, beauty of catch and release. All right, little buddy. Let's let you go. Oh. Hmm. I need to somehow get up there so I can go around. All right, we have to put this away for a second. All right, more climbing. Let's go. Get this spider web out of my way first of all. Sorry, buddy. You got to get yourself a new web. Uh, all right, let's see how we can do this. All right, all right please don't break on me. Oh. Oh, here we go. Ah. Huh. Ah. This is a little tricky, guys, not gonna lie. Ah. Ah. There we go. All right, obstacle cleared. And this actually looks like a spot where there might be some giant fish. We'll, we'll find out. There's one a little smallie. Crankbait's doing work. And beautiful. Oh, it's another. Oh no, not in the rock! Oh, jeez. Fishing gonna give me a heart attack. 
This is honestly one of my favorite types of fishing to do. Get to explore nature, catch some fish, have an adventure. Doesn't get better than that. Let you guys watch him go off. Feisty. So right now I'm, uh, I'm still working my way up and at some point I'm gonna have to cross over there to head back to uh, find my car. Uh, we'll worry about that later, let's just keep catching fish. There's one, there's one. I feel like a good one. Oh, a jump and spit, classic Smalley. Oh, that's a big fish. Holy, oh my gosh. Woo, don't jump. <laughs> that's what I was, where is he, where is he? Oh, that's the one I was waiting for. Oh gosh, on the crankbait, baby. Oh, what a beautiful fish. Come here, girl. Come here, girl. Oh, I got a hook good, guys. Oh my God. Woo! Oh, in my face. Ah, oh, look at that. Woo! Whoa, calm down, girl. I got you. Oh man, what a gorgeous fish. 16 and a half inch smallie 16 and a half man beautiful gorgeous stunning bronze back right here let's go ahead and let this girl go oh geez gosh <laughs> those fish are freaking crazy oh another one next cast after this is just absurd Oh, this guy's barely hooked. Calm down, buddy. Whoa, calm down. I'm gonna let you go. Beautiful smallie, square bull crankbait. See you, girl. Man, what an awesome end of the day. Got that big girl right before I had to leave. And uh, she was right where she was supposed to be, too. You can see the uh, riffles way up there. I caught that fish right behind that rock. She was hanging out right in that current break. And she absolutely pummeled the square bowl crankbait I'm throwing. The uh, Senko provided the numbers, but I was definitely getting the quality fish on this uh, square bowl right here. How I fished the uh, square bowl, just made a long cast upstream. Oh, there's a fish. A little, oh, little fighter here. How big is this? Oh, it's another good one. Woo. I was about to, just about to say how I was fishing this bait. I got another beautiful smallmouth. Oh, I think he's about to jump. Oh man, this, this, wait, is that, what the heck? That's not even a small mouth, what is that? What? Oh, it's a sucker. Oh, sh oh my gosh. What? Look at this, guys. I got like a little carp thing on the old crankbait. I was about to say how key it was to make sure that bait's hitting the bottom and uh, looks like I got a bottom feeder on it. Man, this thing is a, that's a big old fish. Big old sucker. Let's see if I can hold him. Look at that. That's a big old two and a half pound sucker right here. This is my PB sucker. Holy mackerel. Ah, there we go. All right, buddy, I'm gonna let you go. Well, as I was saying before I was uh, rudely interrupted, it's key to cast, you wanna make a long cast upstream with this bait, reel along the bottom with the current, letting it uh, bounce and ricochet across uh, rocks, logs, whatever. And that's gonna, that was creating some monster reaction strikes for me today, which was leading to the uh, more quality fish. And I'm throwing this bait on my uh, favorite, favorite rod, the Summit. The super light and the sensitivity on this thing is unreal. Allowed me to uh, easily differentiate whether I was uh, hitting a rock, hitting a stump, or if it was a uh, fish nail on my bait. And if you guys have any fishing like this around you, any creek smallies, any river smallies, you need to just get in the water and do some of this because honestly there's nothing in bass fishing that can compare to being out in nature being in the water and catching these beautiful acrobatic strong smallmouth it's just freaking awesome